We used to have visitors from the South before the war. It was always very polite, academic, you understand. We stayed off the question of slavery out of courtesy. Towards the end, there was no getting away from it. And yet, I, I never could understand. I, I don't now. I, I don't know why. I mean, they fight so well. Tell me something, Buster. What do you think of Negroes? Well, if you mean the race, I don't really know. This is not a thing to be ashamed of. The thing is, you cannot judge a race. Any man who judges by the group is a peewit. You take men. See, to me, there never was any difference. None at all? No, none at all. Of course, I haven't known that many freed men, but those I knew in, uh, in Bangor, Portland. You look in the eye, there was a man. There was a divine spark, as my mother used to call it. That's all there is to it. Races are men. What a piece of work is man. How infinite in faculties and form and moving. Express an admiral. An action for like an angel. Well, if he's an angel, all right then. But he damn well must be a killer angel. Colonel Darling, you're a lovely man. I see a vast, great difference between us, yet I admire you. An idealist. Praise be. The truth is, Colonel, there is no divine spark. There's many a man alive, no more of value than a dead dog, believe me. And you've seen them hang each other the way I have back in the old country. Equality. What I'm fighting for is the right to prove I'm a better man than many of them. Where have you seen this divine spark in operation, Colonel? Where have you noted this magnificent equality? No two things on earth that equal have an equal chance, not a leaf, not a tree. There's many a man worse than me, and some better. But I don't think race or country matters a damn. What matters, Colonel? justice. Which is why I'm here. I'll be treated as I deserve. Not as my father deserved. I'm Kilrain. And I damn all gentlemen. There's only one aristocracy. That is right here. And that's why we've got to win this war. 